In this next video we're going to look at another slightly complex problem, uh, calling it a little loopy. Write a program that asks for a number, checks it between 0 and 50, counts back from that number back to 0, and then asks for another number repeating until you stop. So again, this is there's, there's several aspects of this program which will solve a little bit at a time. Taking in the number, checking it's between 0 and 50, a for loop to count backwards to 0, and then a while loop, a repetition loop similar to that in the um, guess number program we looked at previously. So let's take this a little bit of a little bit of time. Let's decompose it. Let's break it down, starting with our variables. So I'm going to need to declare a number. So let's declare a variable called number. Let's make it an integer. And that's the number that people are going to take in. Let's deal with the uh, the input first. So let's ask for a number. Please enter a number. And then let's take that as an input. Number. And we'll just do a little simple if statement checking if that number is bigger than uh, 0 or less than 50 so um, number has got to be greater than or equal to 0 and number has to be less than or equal to 50 so if it's true this is where our program is going to go if it's false they've made a mistake so we need to put an output I said between Naught and 50. Try it again. And let's test that bit works. So if I do minus 1, try again. Let's run that again. 52. Let's try again. So 5. Nothing happens because there's nothing inside this section. So inside this section is where we're going to put our for loop that counts back. So let's add a for loop in there. So for the variable's number, the start value is going to be number. The end value is going to be zero. We're decreasing by one. And we're outputting number. So let's check that that bit works. So I'll enter a number, let's go with 10. And we've got that bit working now. Excellent. So our next step is this repetition to make the whole thing run again until we stopped, until we're finished. So let's create a, a variable at the top. Let's have a Boolean variable and we'll call it again. And let's have a, a response variable. Which is going to be our string that we take in. And let's make do up here. That puts a number let's make our again oops didn't mean to declare that i meant to resign it so let's do that again let's make again again equal to true so now we're going to put the whole thing inside our while loop so we'll do while again is equal to true All of this stuff goes inside our while loop, so we'll cut that and we'll paste it inside our while loop. There we go. And we need to take in some form of, of response. So once the number's done finished, 
done that bit and we're here we need to ask uh, press y for another number or any key to exit let's take in the response and let's have a check so if response is equal to yep or response is equal to yep then assign again to true to make it repeat oops otherwise assign again to false and we'll also once again have an output thanks for playing just so we know it's finished so let's test to see if it works so enter a number let's go too big so 52 ask for another number let's go too small and then let's go with a number we know is correct so 40 so it should come down from 40 okay done that press y for another go or any other key to exit so let's do lowercase y enter a number let's go with 20 that's working uppercase y enter a number let's go with 10 that's working and then any other key should exit the program there you go have a look at the code declaration of variables our main loop coming in our for loop that's dealing with our countdown our response keeping in the loop breaking out going back to the end thank you very much for watching and we'll look at another video on flow rhythm shortly